are three months into the New Year's resolutions, and if your goal was to lose weight this year, maybe that number on the scale isn't budging quite like you want right about now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's called a weight loss plateau. A New York Times bestselling author of Eat to Beat Your Diet, Dr. William Lee, joins us now for some simple tips to get back on track. Welcome, Dr. Lee, and it's good to see you. Thanks very much. So what causes weight loss plateauing? Well, weight loss plateau is when you stop losing weight and uh, despite the fact that you had a good start on a weight loss plan. And it turns out that this happens to almost everyone who tries to lose weight, whether you're on a diet, exercise, or even prescription weight yeah. loss drugs, you still wind up plateauing. And there's a lot of reasons that can happen. One of the reasons is our body has a set point for weight loss, where after a while, your body adjusts the hormones so it can actually try to regain balance so you're not losing so much weight and then you actually stop it slows it right down so tell us how we could break this plateau and you say one of the ways to rev your metabolism is food yeah you know this is the greatest thing is that you can eat to actually rev your metabolism and there are foods that can activate <laughs> our beneficial you fat start eating them, called you know. brown fat <laughs> yep. uh, that actually can fight excess body fat through a process called thermogenesis. So here are just some of the foods, chili peppers, ginger, mm -hmm. uh, tomatoes, carrots, avocado, uh, pears, blueberries, edamame, all can actually help us activate and our metabolism and beverages too. Tea, green tea, black tea, coffee, one of my personal favorites, mm -hmm. uh, tomato juice, <laughs> and even water can actually help you. Oh, okay, so that's the eating part. Let's get to the moving part. You know I I'm a fitness enthusiast, mm -hmm. as my friends here are too. What about exercises that can help our metabolism? All right, look, uh, Jen, we all know that exercise burns fat. So in addition to lowering your caloric intake and eating fat-burning foods, you gotta actually move, and cardio right. is a great way to do it. So whether you actually uh, go for uh, spinning, whether you're going for jump rope, whether you go for swimming, or even ballroom dancing, it's all actually good for you. So by the way, walking also helps. Here's right. the key thing. Just if moving. If you're not exercising, get moving. And if you are exercising, you hit that wall, add a day or two extra of, of exercise to up your game. So you talk about movement, and I have to thank you. You're one of my core experts uh, in my magazine. You're in the latest issue, you're in the next issue that's coming out in May. Um, talk about those little movements you said, like even walking, you don't have to go to the gym or anything, even tiny little movements. Look, when it comes to metabolism, most people actually think you have to, you know, uh, join a gym, uh, do a massive workout, but that's not true. It turns out even small things can make a big difference. Like fidgeting. Well, listen, <laughs> if you take the stairs instead of the escalator at the department store, that actually helps. But I think that fidgeting is amazing because when you shake your leg, move your arm, you're already getting your metabolism moving. And can you just tell Eva and DeMarco, you told me right before we came on about pears and fiber and cancer. Dietary fiber actually is good for gut health. Good health is good for, gut health is good for metabolism. Mm. And it also helps you fight cancer as well. So and the, and the data, home. the data is really compelling. Even people who have been diagnosed with cancer, they, they change their diet. They get some of their, we say, food as medicine. Uh, <laughs> that that it can really help in terms of lowering their risk of recurrence, lowering their mortality risk after diagnosis. What's good for our metabolism is good for so many other aspects of our health. Yeah. All right, well, Doug. Let's talk about resetting. How do we reset? Okay. Number one you want to actually lower stress in your life, right? We all oh. carry that around. <laughs> Remember we talked about the stress hormone cortisol really, that helps William? us hold on? <laughs> so, How are we gonna do that? So, I have a two year old. <laughs> you gotta chill out, try meditating. Yoga is actually a great way of doing it. Number two, stay away from alcohol. Not only is it empty calories that actually have zero nutritional value, but drinking might make it more tempting for us to eat junk food, right. which causes us to gain and not lose weight. Yep. Mm. Third thing, intermittent fasting. Try it. It works. So tough. It's so tough. It works. <laughs> Dr. Listen, Jean talks about it all the time, but it's tough. The longer we don't eat, the more our body burns fat. And here's what I tell everyone. Try it for 12 hours. Almost anybody can do 12 hours of fasting, and that will get you started. And then later on, you want to bump it up to 16 hours. If you can, then you should actually do it. Three easy ways to actually punch through that weight loss plateau. Yep. Most doctors don't know anything about nutrition. This one does. Thank you. Hey, that's thank a stamp you. of approval right there. Hey, Dr. Lee, thank you very much. We Thanks. appreciate it. And you can hear more in his book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.